Hey, I'm Aiden with Curbside Cycle, and today we're gonna to show you how to remove and reinstall the rear wheel of a bike equipped with an Enviolo hub. Whether riding your bike around town, out for the weekend, or even going to go grocery shopping, cycling is something that brings joy to lots and lots of people, but that joy can really quickly diminish as soon as you get a flat tire. Flat tire is a very easy process to fix, which we're gonna show you in a different video, but today we're gonna focus on the mechanical intricacies of removing the Enviolo speed hub from your bike. For the Enviolo hub, it's very similar to a normal wheel to remove. The major difference is gonna be disconnecting the two shift cables from the hub. It's a very straightforward process, but the steps need to be followed quite specifically, or else you'll wind up with the cables mounted in the wrong spot. If it's your first time doing it, I would highly recommend taking a couple of photos before you start the process at all. This will really help for you to reorient yourself when you're installing it. If you misposition the cables, the gears won't shift correctly, uh, and there really is only one way that they can go in properly. So you do need to be cognizant of which position each cable was in originally. First thing you're gonna do is unclip the top cable, which will be removable. You pull that out vertically. And then you remove the housing from the second cable and it will pop out as well. The, the cable is pinched with a small cylinder that is oval. So you need to slide it out from the cable carrier vertically. Uh, that will require um, a small amount of turning into the right position. But uh, so again, yeah, you just snap that one cable off, rotate it so that the flat section is vertical, pull that cable out from the cassette joint, and then go ahead and do the same with the second cable. Now what you're left with is what is essentially a standard rear wheel to remove. You'll loosen the nuts on both sides, Make sure that the belt or chain is not too tight for the wheel to drop down out of the bike. And basically when you've completed all those steps, you loosen the nuts from the rear wheel and the wheel will remove from the bike like a standard rear wheel. Again, the only thing separating an Enviolo hub from a normal rear wheel in terms of installation or removal is gonna be the fact that it has two cables and that they have to go in and be removed in a fairly specific way. Not that it's difficult, just that you need the knowledge of how it works in order to execute the job with ease. When you're reinstalling it, so making sure that the chain or the belt is on the cog, anti-rotational washers that interlock with the frame are gonna be facing downwards, and then you just Simply guide the wheel up into the topmost section of the dropout and then tighten the nuts as you would a conventional bike. The first cable to go in is the cable with the small cylinder attached at the base. Again, you're just reversing the process of, of removal. So you slot that in with the flat edge vertical and then reinstall the housing into the, uh, into the cassette joint. And then the second cable wraps around. You slot it in the same way, flat side in, and then it clips down and you're done. Do you want to give the shifter a little twist just to make sure that it's moving in both directions and that you've got the installation correct? But there's really no way of getting it wrong and having it work. So you'll, you'll know quite quickly if something's amiss. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, feel free to come visit us at 412 Bloor Street in Toronto, Ontario.